Welcome to PHT in the Morning with your host, Pastor David Miller from the Pentecostal Holiness Tabernacle in Cincinnati, Ohio. Good morning and welcome to another episode of PHT in the Morning with Pastor David Miller. And we are glad to have you here with us today on this episode. And we're just thrilled that you're here with us uh, this morning. So... We have a special guest today that we're going to be uh, talking with, and he has a group of young men here from uh, Ozark Bible Institute in Neosho, Missouri, and they was with us this past weekend and done a fantastic job ministering here to our uh, church. We had a uh, fellowship uh, youth uh, rally on Friday night, and then they was with us the, the weekend and Brother Josh Rogers, who uh, leads this group of young men and also young ladies, is going to be here with us. And we're going to introduce him and let him uh, tell you about uh, their ministry there uh, at the Bible school and what's going on there. And just talk about the Bible school some and about this group of young men. And like we said, also young ladies, they're not here right now, but... Glad to have these brothers with us. So, uh, Brother Josh Rogers, we're just going to turn the mic to you and uh, let you talk about what you're doing, what your ministry is there, and maybe you could introduce or talk to these young men some. All right. Well, it's great to be here with you, Brother Miller. And uh, my name is Josh Rogers. I am the leader of the Servant's Heart Outreach Group. And I'm also the men's dorm supervisor there at OBI. And um, um, it's an awesome place there. And I'm here with a few of our young men, uh, some that are traveling here with the outreach group. Uh, Dakota Cornett, Micah Sims, Cisco Rincon, Cameron Keith, Caleb Middleton, Daniel Watkins, and Dustin Miller. And so um, there's a group, different ones. Or Some are freshmen, some are juniors, some are sophomores. And um, we're just a great group. Great group of young men, um, but right now at the school, the Lord's really been helping us and blessing us there at the school. We've had a great year, a lot of growth, a lot of potential um, there that the Lord has helped us. Uh, a lot of unity there this year, the Lord's really come by. And then specifically in the outreach group, the outreach group is a, um, we have the Overcomers Choir as a ministry, and then this is this is the Servant's Heart Outreach, and this, this is kind of designed just to give us a lot of uh, practical ministry opportunities to the young people and um, we'll come into a church just like we did here at your church what yes. we might could do a youth rally and then we had like a youth day the next day did some devotions but then we'll come in we'll teach Sunday school children's church preach sing um, basically do just whatever the the church would have us to do and um, it's just been a great great time this year I've enjoyed it a lot uh, being an outreach and then being over the dorm too there it's been great the lord's i feel like is really helping i feel like he's calling young people and this is this is the last day and i believe that he's still calling young people and he still has a work for young people to do so amen yes, sir we're honored to have this group with us here today and uh, we've had them a few times here uh with us and several of our kids actually have went to uh, bible school there some have not come back home <laughs> but anyway uh, several have and brought people with them, so I guess I guess it's okay. Yes, sir. Yes, but anyhow, we do we appreciate the school there, and uh, brother Danny Taylor, who is the what would his official title be? He's the president of the school and the pastor of the local church. Yes, okay, sir. yes, and they got a uh, a great staff. I know a, a lot of them out there, great staff and great people, and I know uh, our our church. Here we've had uh, a few different uh, uh, young men that has went out there and come back and and done great uh, great work and preaching well and so on and so we're just we're just glad of uh, the ministry that's going on out there and I really do mean that I appreciate uh, them so much I appreciate you uh, taking time with this group of young men to share with all of our uh, listeners so. Uh, I think they're going to be a blessing uh, to you. And if you'd ever want this uh, group, how would they get in, in contact if they wanted to have you at their church? 
they can um, they can contact. Well, we're on Facebook and Instagram, so they could search us up there and send us a direct message on there. Um, but probably the best way would just to be um, get in touch with the OBI office, and you can find that number on the. We have a website on the Facebook, different things. You could just give us a call and say we're interested. Um, you could do that with the choir if you were interested in the choir mm-hmm. or the outreach group. And so, yeah, that's that's some some ways that they can yeah. get in contact with us. We've had the choir several years; they're a great blessing, and and uh, servants' hearts, great blessing. So, yeah, you you really ought to consider having them. They'll they'll be a great help to your church. So, uh, I think Brother Roger is going to introduce some of these young men, tell us who they are and where they're from, and so on. Go ahead, Brother Rogers. Got a couple here. Uh, one is Dakota Cornett, and he is from. Well, he's really from, from here at the at the church here. And then Cameron Keith is from Vider, Texas. I'm not going to let them maybe just give a little testimony of how okay, sure. OBI has helped them this year and then even uh, outreach specifically, how the Lord has just helped them. Yeah. Um, my name is Dakota Cornett. And, you know, coming to OBI, it, that was something that I'd always planned on doing throughout my whole life. My uh, My parents, they neither one came, but my older sister and I had several cousins that had came and uh, they came to OBI for several years. So that was always part of my life's plan. But I guess it wasn't until I really got there, I realized how much of a help it could be that it wasn't just like a uh, long youth camp, which I think is what a lot of people consider it to be sometimes before they go. There you can have a lot of fun there and you can make some great experiences with some great lifelong friends, but as well as a lot of, uh, as well as a lot of uh, good experiences, both in the ministry and in your own personal spiritual life. Outreach in itself has helped me a lot by, uh, you know, I grew up in the ministry, traveling. My family uh, were evangelists and pastors my whole life. But coming on outreach gave me a lot more of experience to do things uh, myself, getting to preach and testify a lot more often. And, you know, I really appreciate the practical ministry experience that I've got from outreach, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Hello, I'm Cameron Keith. I'm a freshman there at OBI, and um you know, unlike Dakota, I didn't plan on going my entire life. Actually, I felt the Lord's calling about two weeks before school started this past year. And, you know, I went there not knowing exactly what to expect. And um, But once I got there, it was way different than I thought, but it was way better than I thought. You know, I've had such great opportunity to minister and just to grow in the Lord, you know, just all these opportunities to preach and testify. But more than that, I think OBI and just outreach has been a great opportunity for me to get that firm foundation in the Lord, you know. I've seen such a great growth in my prayer life and in my, you know, my personal devotion life, and it's amazing. You know, I didn't realize how much I, how much room I had to grow till I got there, and it's just been a, you know, a really great bre- a blessing to be under such great men of God. You know, and our teachers and Brother Josh Rogers here as our outreach director and dorm supervisor. You know, it's been it's been a really great blessing. You know, and I've seen the Lord move in such great ways and just help us grow in such great ways, and I'm very thankful for that. Amen. All right. Um, I'd like to introduce one more, um, at least one more. Micah Sims, he's a junior here, and he's been in outreach actually three years, plays the piano, great, great teacher. Yeah. Um, just uh, why don't you, Micah, talk just a little bit about what OBI has done in your life and different things like that. Well, it's good to be here. I um, certainly enjoy Ozark Bible Institute. Um, it's done a lot um, for me. Um, I come from a great church that supports OBI, um, with everything um, that they have, and they really encouraged me to go, and I appreciate them for that. I appreciate Ozark Bible Institute and the church there, Bible Holiness. Um, Pastor Taylor, he's definitely uh, encouraged me and strengthened me, and he, he's changed. Um, he's he's changed me in many ways, challenging me to live right, and I really do appreciate outreach. Um, I've been in it for three years. It's changed every year, uh, but I can honestly say that it's been better every time, and I'm thankful. Um, for how the Lord has helped me in outreach, and I just want to keep going on to glorify God and to serve Him. Amen. Well, we still got we still got about eight or nine minutes. If you want to get some more of these young men in here, brother Josh. Okay, awesome. What's uh, Dustin Miller? Is a freshman here, and he's going to come and uh, maybe just greet you there for a little bit. And... Yeah. Hi, I'm Dustin Miller. Like you said, um, you know, I, I I like to start off by saying uh, OBI is a great place. Um, you know, I've learned a lot there from the instructors in uh, you know, different classes. Um, but one of the one of the best things about being in, uh, at OBI um, is being in the outreach ministry. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, 
you know, I really thank Brother Josh for allowing me to be on part of the outreach ministry. Um, you know, just going and being able to go to different churches and, uh, you know, helping out the churches and being there, you know, it's a great blessing. And uh, you, you never know, um, you know, the need in tr- different churches until you go out and you see the need and you get to be able to pray with people and minister to them. And it's just such a great blessing. And I'm, I'm thankful every day for what I've been able to do and, you know, be a part of in the outreach ministry. All right. I think this is what we'll do here. We got, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys in here. And uh, some of them been here a year or two, different things like that. But they all have, you know, they're all different personalities, different guys. We're going to go around the room. and I just want them to come up and each tell them, uh, let's let's say one thing we love. What, what, what do you love about OBI? Okay. What's yeah, something you great. love about OBI? We're going to start with Dakota Cornett. Uh, if I had to just choose one specific thing I love about OBI, it would probably be all of the great men of God that they've chose to be put over us. Everybody, you know, from Pastor Taylor to uh, Brother Presley to even Brother Josh Rogers here, all those great men of God that can lead us and take us on the right path and really just be mentors and show us how true ministers of God are supposed to be and how they're supposed to act. All right, next is Micah Sims, uh, Jr., well, I certainly love OBI. Uh, one thing I love and appreciate about Ozark Bible Institute so much is the um, the vast array of opportunities um, that it gives me. I'm reminded of a scripture in Galatians chapter 6. says, As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. And I've experienced um, and had those opportunities as far as teaching and preaching, uh, music ministry, and it's really opened a lot of doors. And what it does um, for me is, as it gives me opportunities, it shows me areas that I'm passionate in. You know, as I take different opportunities, um, I understand that I'm passionate about teaching or I'm passionate about music ministry. And maybe if I get another opportunity, well, maybe I'm not so passionate in that. Um, but I understand um, how the Lord wants to use me and gives me a passion um, for those opportunities. Mm-hmm. All right, next is Cisco Rincon, a junior. One thing I've realized that if you want something that you've never had, you got to do something you've never done. And so to come to a place that uh, helps to polish you, to shape you, and to build character um, in in your ministry, that's that's just what I've I've loved about OBI, how it's helped me uh, to study the Word of God in a much deeper way. Um, it has changed the way I've prayed. It has it's changed the way I've viewed ministry, how I have viewed life, and the uh, just the foundation that this school has built and the, uh, the, the, the prior years of success that the school has, the testimony that the school has of, of how it's built character and integrity in young men and young women uh, for the work of the Lord has been amazing, and that's what I, I truly love about the school. <laughs> Next is Cameron Keith, a freshman. Um, you know, there's many, many things I love about this school, but I think one of the biggest things is, uh, the challenges it has placed on my life, you know, um, you know, certain, our classes and stuff are presented with different challenges, you know, with our prayer life and devotional life. And, uh, it just challenges me to be better and it challenges me to give my best because the Lord deserves nothing less than my best. And, uh, yeah. that's one of the, one of my favorite things about OBI. Yeah, awesome. Next is Caleb Middleton, a junior. If I really had to, uh, just pick one, I think you would be, uh, relevant to say that it'd be the ministerial opportunities that you're given at Bible school. It was uh, through Bible school that I feel like I've effectively grown closer and uh, willingly to get closer to the Lord, but not only that, but to be able to be a better minister in the place that the Lord is going to set me. It's through Bible school. It also gave me the opportunity to get my name out there a lot better and allowed me to get to a place to where I was willing to get offers as I graduate this year to be a youth pastor at a church. And it was through Bible school that that was all created. Uh, so if I had to just pick one, it'd definitely be the ministerial opportunities. But if I had to pick another one, it would be the name that the Bible school actually gives you throughout the years you're there. And I just really appreciate the Bible school. Yeah. Next is Daniel Watkins. He's a freshman this year. If I had to choose one thing about uh, OBI, it's the spiritual growth that you see in the, not only in myself, but in different others. And, uh, you know, just the things that God will do for you for willing to let him. I came to OBI, just, just called to preach. And then uh, it's through OBI 
well, not technically through OBI, but uh, since then I've gotten called to be a missionary to Vanuatu. And, you know, just seeing the different changes that God's done in me personally, I, it's a really great place. All right, next is Dustin Miller. He's also a freshman. Okay. Uh, if I had to pick one thing about OBI, um, it would be the amazing um, fellowship you have, you know, being with such great men of God. Um, you get to have, you know, with your class and then upperclassmen, just amazing men you can go to, you can get advice from, and also the instructors. But, you know, people you can laugh with, you can cry with, and you can pray with in the altars. People that, you know, you build friendships with and, you know, that will always last you. You know, you'll, you'll always have them as friends and just you build strong, good relationships in the Lord and good Christian friends that you can find at OBI. And that that's something I love about OBI. All right. I'll, I'll actually, um, since I'm the leader, I'll do more than one. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's a few things I, lo- I love about OBI and my time there. Um, just like Brother Dustin, I made some, I made some great friends. And uh, I don't think I would be the person I am today without the friends that I made there. Like uh, ones like Jer- Jaron Presley, Jonathan Hudson, Ethan Binkley. They, were, they gave a lot of peer pressure, positive peer pressure. We hear a lot of a lot of uh, about negative peer pressure, but they gave me positive peer pressure to um, being around guys that wanted to do what God wanted them to do and pray and different things. And so I built lifelong friendships with these guys that I'll be able to call them up if I need prayer or just you know just to talk about life with them and different things. Another thing about OBI is it's a place that you can have a lot of fun. It's fun. It's a great time there. Um, you know, we, we have, you know, there's different things, fellowship, you know, just, just fun and the, the ministry aspects, you know, just working even sometimes just being around a group of young men that, um, young ladies that want to serve the Lord. It's just a, you know, it's a good time in the Lord. And then, so it's a place where you can have fun, but it's also a place where you learn to be serious. And, uh, that was something I felt like uh, the Lord really matured me a lot and taught me how serious ministry is. There's a time to have fun. There's a time to be serious. Yes. I feel like OBI gives you a mature perspective on those on those the difference of the of, of those times. So that's a few things for me. All right. Well, we we have tremendously enjoyed having Brother Rogers and and this uh, uh, minister ministerial team that he's got here with him with him, and they've been a great blessing to our church. And I hope you've enjoyed uh, getting to hear their perspective and their testimonies. And if you're out there and you're a pastor or you're a youth pastor and you want to talk to your pastor about having them to come, I know that'd be a great blessing to your church. So I want to say thank you to all you brothers and Brother Rogers. Thank you for being with us on PHT in the morning. And we hope you have a great rest of your day and looking forward to being back with you on the next episode. God bless.